Hey guys, it's Mrs. L. I'm sure you guys remember these things from my art room back at school. These are called art mannequins. They're made of wood and metal so that you can bend and move the arms, the legs, the body, and the head into different positions for drawing. Today I'm going to show you how you can make something like this at your house, not out of wood, but out of tin foil or aluminum foil. You're going to need two things, aluminum foil or tin foil and scissors. So if you don't know what aluminum or tin foil is, it's this shiny silvery, might come in a roll, it might come in sheets. You can ask an adult in your house and see if you have some in your kitchen maybe or in the closet somewhere or a drawer. Just ask them and see if you have some of this. Your final product will be a tin foil sculpture that you can move into different shapes and different poses. So to start, we're gonna use our aluminum foil and our scissors. Open up your aluminum foil and be careful because there's usually a sharp edge to cut it. Ask an adult if you need some help. You're gonna make a sheet about the size of a regular sheet of paper, but it does not have to be exact. Once you've got your sheet, don't worry if it's a little messed up, if there's a piece missing or a piece sticking out on the other side, that is fine. You're gonna fold your sheet of tin foil in half. You can tuck in any extra pieces like I did at the bottom. Next, you're gonna need something to make a few lines. I'm gonna use a permanent marker, but you could use a pen or a pencil as well to make some marks or lines in our tin foil. We're gonna start at the top. We're gonna to divide it into three sections by making two lines. That gives us three pretty much equal sections at the top. If they are not perfectly equal, that is fine. Just make it the best that you can. Then at the bottom of our tin foil, we are going to make one line that's a little bit longer than our top ones, and that's gonna split our bottom section into two pieces. You do not have to write these words, I'm just showing you what each section is going to become. Our middle top section will be the head, the two on the sides will be the arms, and the two at the bottom are gonna be the legs, and then our middle is going to be the body or the waist, of our person. Next I'm going to use my scissors carefully to cut on these lines. Try your best to be careful because tin foil rips easily. Now I have my three sections at the top, making sure that I cut through both parts of the tin foil. Remember it's folded. Then I'm gonna cut my line at the bottom to make our two sections at the bottom. And make sure you don't cut all the way through. You wanna leave that middle uncut. Next, I'm gonna use my hands to shape our sculpture. First, I'm going to crush each of the leg sections in my hand, being careful not to rip up into the body of the person. Then, I'm gonna crush the arm sections, the two on the sides at the top, Doing the same thing I did with the legs. Next, I'm going to crush the head, but I'm going to pull it down a little bit because I'm going to be making a circle or a sphere shape because that will be the head. Then I do the same thing to the body and I'm going to continue to pinch and mold our sculpture so that it looks more like a figure. Tin foil is very easy to bend and shape how you want it. So if something doesn't look quite right, Play around with it. Try to make it look more like what you want it to. With the head, you want to kind of make a ball shape, and then at the neck, you're going to pinch in so that it's smaller than the head. This will make your figure look more realistic. Once you have the general shape down, then you can start playing around with the arms and legs in different poses. 
You could make it look like the person's hands are on their hips. You could bend the knees. You could make little feet by pinching the tin foil up at the end of the legs. Try moving your mannequin into all sorts of different poses. Have fun with your new foil sculpture. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Thanks for watching and see you next time.